Yo guys, Lead Games here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a video about 3am videos. i just like to say before we start, I do not get how they are not against YouTube's terms of services. But in particular today, we're going to be looking at this YouTuber called Vlogger Joe. He's got about 30k subscribers and he did a video on Caroline Flack. Um, basically saying, uh, if you guys don't know, a 3am video is where they phone the person who's just unfortunately passed away and then they just get a reply from them and then they pretend that they're still alive and it's just always a bad taste. This video got about 30k views, the one he did about Caroline Flack, um, and his normal videos probably get about 1k views, so you can see why he did it, it gets you a lot more views. But it's just bad taste and it's not the right way to grow. I think anyone with uh, like a little bit of a mind can agree. But um, anyway, if you guys don't know who Caroline Flack is, she presented Love Island, a like sh show on TV. Um, and pretty much she did, well, there were pretty strong accusations about her um, hitting her boyfriend. So... And then mainstream media went along with it and then just picked up the story. And everyone's attacking mainstream media. And, but you've got to say, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but if she did do it, then like why, why can't they post about it? Like criticism's important. Like it makes sure that people don't do it again. That's exactly what I'm doing right now, criticizing. Although what I will say, and which the point I do get, which pe some people, not all people are making, is that they made like 15 to 20 stories of like, of her and like, it's it's then, when you make more of like multiple stories about the same thing, hassling the same person, it turns into something else, which I think it did. And yeah, that's my thoughts on that. I, I think the media has to take some blame. But what I don't agree with is like why people having a go at Love Island because people are saying that oh Love Island should take blame. Uh, unfortunately, there's been like four suicides with people linked to the show. Um, but in real life, like if say like I don't know anyone, any person um, had had these accusations thrown at them their job would be forced to drop them, so I don't really get, ITV doesn't really have a blame, but I can see the blame, like, what mainstream media is saying. Anyway, let's get back onto the main topic of this video. I just wanted to say that. Um, but yeah, this YouTuber, you can just see by the types of videos, I'll stick them on the screen now, that he's the type of video who will do anything for clickbait. Um, it's just gutting really I don't get how people can just you know like do these types of things for there's a difference between clickbait a good clickbait video is where like you know it's the same as a headline and that's where media has gone wrong as well if you look at newspapers the problem is over the last 20 years ago 20 years ago you would have looked at a newspaper and thought Oh wow, like they're credible, they're a good source of information, but they've lost that now. So what they have to do is make clickbaity titles, which is what one of the issues they did, what I was talking about earlier in the video. Um, and now they've lost all credibility, they have to do all these clickbaity titles, which has got them in a lot of trouble, like this. Um, but yeah, you can just see by like his channel it's all clickbaity stuff it's all like stuff to get him like quick views he's got he's even got videos of him like criticizing other youtubers which is not wrong and also right there's actually a tweet of him saying that oh should i do a 3am code bright video which everyone in the comments was like no don't do that and then he still goes and does this so yeah it's just i just don't get what goes through someone's head i'd love to like interview someone and just see like what makes them go oh you know what will get me some good views today like phoning a dead person like it just doesn't it just doesn't get like through my head do you know what I mean I know I didn't say that right but the problem is if you guys don't know these 3 a.m. videos linked to Jay's station and then he's had his own drama recently um, about him and his girlfriend 
and you can just tell by the types of people to do these videos they're not like with it they're not like you just know if you know what I mean like you can just tell I know I'm pretty bad for clickbait and I'm not like faulting clickbait in any way because everyone needs clickbait on YouTube it's the same as like clickbaits everywhere it's just this is another level like honestly like I, I, I don't get it <laughs> but yeah I'd just like to say that like he's got his um, ratings and comments disabled on all his videos and that's always a bad sign and it knows that he's like pretty much admitting fault because like if you've done nothing wrong you don't need to disable your likes and dislikes unless well you've been sent hate undeservedly at your channel but that hardly happens um but yeah like he he's obviously like admitted fault to like everything just by that and much better ways to grow his channel now he's done this like it's the same with J Station. they'll never like you can get a decent sized channel by doing scummy things like this but you'll never reach the top because these types of things will make you like get knocked down a peg or two people will make hate videos on you you'll lose subscribers like I just don't as I said before I just don't get like anyone's thought process for doing this because you're just not going to like grow properly like it's just and also I, I haven't really mentioned this much just because I thought like it's the easiest thing it's just like obviously disrespectful to a person who's passed away and their family their family need time to process it um, they need time to like process what's happened and then if they see this on YouTube people like profiting off the death what are they gonna think like yeah it's it's a tough time but especially for I'm gathering for family of her but stuff like this doesn't help does it but yeah guys um I know that was quite a broken video um I, I just wanted to point it out and honestly if you're if you're a kid like and you end up on this video and you're watching these types of videos stop watching them stop giving them your support um, don't even bother like clicking on to give them dislikes you're still like giving them views just ignore them completely let this trend die out um, yeah honestly and if this gets all the way to YouTube which I don't think it will because I'm a really small channel um, YouTube needs to change their community guidelines so stuff like this can like not happen like pretty much but yeah guys, um, if you've uh, reached this part of the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to do some more videos about this, just like exposing people. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yo guys, um, I'm back and I just saw his Twitter, right? And he sort of tried to defend himself, not very well honestly he just said and all the hate begins and just put a couple emojis on an article um, but I'm gathering that's his way of trying to defend himself but what <sighs> some more news broke by BBC News that basically another actress died he said another 3 a.m. vid which isn't the worst way to defend yourself he's obviously just trying to stir up stuff now um, and honestly I know this might be a bit of like a selfish reason but one of the reasons he needs to be stopped if this turns into a massive trend again it's another ad apocalypse like waiting to happen if you guys don't know a couple years ago when Logan Paul um, had his uh, incident I don't really want to bring that up <laughs> that's in the past now but um, he's making decent content now by the way but Loads of ads pulled out of YouTube, meaning that everyone's ad revenue went way down. And I'm afraid that that's going to happen again. But he also followed this tweet by saying, Any journalist or anyone with a podcast show been following what's happened recently, I want to clear my name and say something. DM me, let's sort something. Um, and I don't think he's got good intentions behind this. I think he just wants to carry the, like, the hate towards him going so he gets more views otherwise I don't think he would have like done previous couple tweets um, that's just my opinion though obviously he could 
be trying to clear his name. He might have a reason for doing it. But I don't think there's an excuse, really, for, like, for doing what he's done. Like, you're old enough. You know the consequences. You know the sort of, like, cancel culture which is on the internet. And you know what sort of stuff will get you hate. And he just went out and done that. Uh, fair enough, if, like, someone makes an accident, then it backfires on them. But... This is something different. He knew what he was doing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you guys um, did enjoy as much as you can enjoy, I guess. But um, please leave your thoughts in the comments section if you've got any valid points. But, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.